Hi everybody, this is Robert Hardy. Thank you for joining me. This is the Excel Your Life Show with Robert Hardy. Um, thank you for coming on to be in my life. Tonight we're gonna be uh, real quick and and um and to this topic. Tonight we're gonna continue to talk about what we were talking about last night. Um, I, I didn't intend to make it a part two, like a mini series actually. I thought I was just gonna do it one night, but the reason why I wanna continue talking about it again tonight, we're gonna to talk about the belief system, the broken belief system and the success belief system. One of the reasons why I wanted to pick up on this, this again tonight is because I wanna spend this, this a little bit more time talking about the broken the broken belief system, talking about this this one specifically more. And this one too, but what I'm going to emphasize and focus more on this one here. I, I thought I didn't, I didn't spend enough time talking about it last night. So I thought, you know, I didn't spend enough time talking about the, the broken belief system uh, as, I, as I should have. And so um, tonight I just want to come back on and do a part two and talk about more on that one. Now, the broken, the broken belief system, as I said, for most people, this is where we start, all of us you know, in our life, even people who are now millionaires and billionaires today, we probably all started started here in this in this broken belief system. We, we have um, this is how most of us are, are, are our subconscious mind is programmed in the broken belief system. Remember, I said that um, this this is something that was you know, programmed this way even from birth, as you're growing up, as the, the, the home you were brought up into, and um, the people you were, you grew up around, the school you went to, the, the friends you had growing up, you know, all those kind of things help program you in the broken belief system, and we all start at this at this this area now. One area that I wanted to focus on on the broken belief system is the is the have. Now the have here. No, don't, I need that button. <laughs> the have is you know when people think of doing things in life, you know they they first look at the have, the have. You know if they want to do something, they look at they want to know the have first. Um, what do I mean by that? Let me give me exact. Let me give you an example. Okay, let's say you want to. Let's say you want to go to buy a car, right? When you want to buy a car, the first thing you consider is like, um, I don't have the money. Where get the money from? So another thing you consider for the word have is where or how, where or how. Like, where is the money going to come from? How am I, how am I going to come up with the money, right? And you might think of. So you think of, oh, I don't have the money to go out and do uh, buy the car so you can be the, the, a car owner, be a car owner, right? And that's just one of my examples. I just want to, you know, I like when I'm talking, I like to give example because I think that's examples is, um, you help bring the, the point across that I'm trying to make better than me just talking. So when they use an example, it helps me bring, it brings, a point, brings across the point I'm much better. So, for example, you know, you want to go buy a car, you want to buy a house, you know, you know, a lot of people, a lot of what people do, they focus on the how, or the how, or the have, or the, or the where. So, where is the money going to come from? How are we going to buy the house? We don't have the money. We don't, you know, they focus on all of those things, and they focus so much on that thing that they don't take action to do what they need to do and also then to become what they need to become. So they they focus so much on that, the have part. And that's why it's it's that's why it's a broken it's a broken system because people people tend not to take action because they don't have they don't see themselves having what it takes. They don't they don't have enough they they like have a whole they might have a whole bunch uh, a whole long list of things that they don't have uh, or I don't have enough money uh, uh, the money or I don't have the education I don't have the skills I don't have the know how I don't have the expertise you know I don't have the right connections I don't have you know and you you 
you make you fill in the blank. You, you so you have a whole lot, a whole long list of things that you don't have. They have the right here. They do they have their own long list of what they don't have, and that's what holds them back. That's what hinders them. That's what make them not take action to do to do what they need to do to achieve success or to be um, to be successful. So they, they they focus so much on the have that they fail to take action because of it. They call it, and, and then they, they think of, oh, how are we gonna do this? And they focus so much on that that they fail to take action. Now I've been studying, um, I'm gonna touch on this briefly because I'm just, um, I'm researching, I should say. I'm researching, studying up on this thing called their, um, their, uh, their, um, the, the training balance scale. I don't know if, if anyone watching my video, if you heard of this before. The training balance scale. I'm going to touch on it briefly because, again, it's something that I'm looking into. I'm studying that just before I came on my live. I was reading an article about it. I listened to uh, Justin Trudeau, and he spoke upon this. Those of you who don't, don't know who Justin Trudeau is, you know, look him up on, on YouTube. Anyways, you have, you know, videos on it. The Cheney Balance Scales have two sides to it. It has the thinking side, and it has the action side. The thinking side is like the why, and the action side is like the how. You have to focus more on the thinking side of the scale than on the action side of the scale. It's the scale should never be balanced. It should always be tilted where you're thinking more, thinking this, this is the thinking side, this is the action side. So the thinking side should, it should always be like this. You're thinking more than you're acting. Um, again, I'm not going to get into that. Get in, I just want to touch on this briefly. What the reason why I want to touch on this briefly because it kind of it kind of goes hand in hand with what, what what I'm saying. A lot of people think of the how. Remember the action, the the, the training bank skills. Uh, one side is the thinking side, and the other side is the action side. The action side, and you can say, is the how side, right? The how. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? Where is the money going to come from? You know, I don't have the skills. I don't have the education. I don't have the money. I don't have the right connections. You know, I, I, you know, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. You know, and how? 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 I don't have. 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 You know, the whole the long list you might have. So you focus, you focus more on that. How we can do this? Whereas it's the thinking side, the thinking side, you focus more on the why. Why you want to do this? Why? One. That's why it, that's why the, the thinking side should always outweigh the action side because you should be thinking more on your why, why you want to do this and thinking um, uh, why you want to do what you want to do and have a burning desire for its accomplishment. So when you focus more on the why side of the thinking balance scale instead of the how side of balance scale, you then you can take up um, and then the the how will figure itself out. The how will you through thinking, <laughs> you thinking that you the how will figure itself out. But a lot of people get stuck right here. I mean, I, I my, myself included. We get stuck right here. We think of the how, the how, the why, the how have. I don't have the money to do this. I don't have the education. I don't have the skills. I don't have the right connection. I don't have this. I don't have it. Uh, it goes on and like, on and on and on and on like that. We get stuck right here. And then because we don't have, we stop right at the have or the how or the where, we don't do anything, don't take action, and then we can't be successful, right? So we need to that's why we need to shift our paradigm shift our way of thinking shift our way of soul we see things and come down here to realize that we first have to be before we can do it before we can have but we, the being is you're shifting your paradigm shifting your point of view shifting the way you see yourself and i talk a lot about this last night I talk more more upon this than I did on this. That's why tonight I thought I'll come back and I'll, I'll talk more on this. 
because I didn't think I'd spend enough time talking about this part last night. And I thought, thought you know, I, I should go back and emphasize more on this part of the of their belief system that we all have. Now, this is something that we all have, this, these two belief systems, and something we all should work towards. What, what we need to be is down here, the success belief system, working on ourselves to, 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 um, to be, do, and have. But and that's but, but we all start up up here. We all start up up here. We in the, we we all should always be in the process, continuously be in the process of becoming the success, ch transforming our mind and our lives and our way of thinking to the success belief system, the be, do, and how. But we're all up here. And a lot of people, including myself, I'm not going to exclude myself here, we fight, get ourselves stuck in the how. We, you, because we don't see the how the things are going to happen, because we don't have the money, we don't have the, the, the time, we don't have, you know, whatever it is you might not have. You focus so much on that that it, it causes you not to take action it hinders you it pull, holds you back it pulls you it holds you in place it paralyzes you in a way you know because you're like oh how can i do this how can i do that <laughs> you know where is the money going to come from where are we going to get this, the resources for this and stuff like that and that's how we people in general think you know whether it's whatever it is you want to buy or do you cannot you cannot focus so much on the how you have to focus more on the why. Remember the back, the, the training balance scale. You know, again, you focus more on the why of what you want to do more than on the how. The how is not as as important as the why. When you when you have the why, a strong enough why, the how will figure itself out. The how will work its way out. Work work its way out. The how, the the answers for the how will come as you focus on the why. I hope that makes sense. The answer to the how will come as you focus on the why, right? As you focus on your why, the how to do it will come will work itself out. You figure it out as you go. You know, one of the, one of the, one of the thing that, again, one of the thing that holds people back is lack of action. And the reason why they don't take action, and again, myself included, I'm not, I'm not excluding myself in, 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 in this talk here. The, the one reason why they don't take action nine times out of 10 is because they don't know they don't think they know how. They can't see the how, how it's gonna happen, how it's gonna work out. So they don't because they don't have they don't have the how figured out, they want they don't they don't they don't want to take action until they know how it's gonna work out. But it doesn't it doesn't work like that. You know, I heard someone say this um uh before. He says, um trying to figure out uh Figure the how. I don't remember how, how how the person put it word for word, but I guess I'll try to put it in um, their uh, the best best way I remember. Hum, I understand how he was saying what he was saying. He says um, when you want, if we're trying to figure out the how to do something before you do it is like you're like going up to um, to uh, going up to um, a chimney or um, a fireplace, that's the word, <laughs> a fireplace and said, give me fire, uh, give me heat, and then I'll put, uh, then I'll put wood in and cause out a fire. No, you can't get heat without fire, and you can't get fire without wood. So you have to, <laughs> so sometimes we have it backwards. We want the heat first before we put the wood in and then start the fire. You can't do that. You have to put the wood in, start a the fire, then you get the heat. Right, and so some, so sometimes we, people don't want to take action unless they didn't have the how figure out. You don't have to have the how figure out. Just take action. Put the wood in the fireplace. Start a fire, and the heat will come out. That's how it happen. Take action. Don't let the lack of know how stop you from taking action. The how will figure itself out as you focus on the why. That's how, <laughs> so that's why I wanted to talk about tonight more, um, focusing more on this, 
tonight talking about how people stop themselves because they haven't figured out how things are going to happen where or how where things are going to come where the resources and the money or the time or whatever it is that they they, they don't see themselves having they, they, because they don't figure they can't figure it out yet they stop themselves from taking action from doing things and so therefore becoming what they want to become but down here it's the opposite down here you work on your mind you work on the why you work on your why why you want why you want this to happen you focus more on that you focus more on becoming the person you want to become in order to do the, what the person you want to become can do in order to have what the person you want to become can do can so we have you can have it <laughs> that's and so so you focus more on that becoming that person you focus on and the success the success belief system you focus more on becoming the person more on becoming that person you be that person and that that you need to change and develop into becoming so then they can do and then have up here it's like opposite we want to be we want to have the whole the how figure out first like we, we want to become become the person first then do now we want to have the what the person have first and then do and then become become the person you know we can't do that we can't work it doesn't work that way that's why it's a broken system and unfortunately, that's where most of oh, that's where most, if not all, of us starts, and that's where most of society is at. They're at the broken belief system, functioning in that broken belief system, you know. And so they need to have a, a change of mindset. We have, we all need to have a change of mindset, change of paradigm, change of how we see things, see ourselves, see our, the world around us, see how we can do things with or without the how, with or without knowing how it's going to work out, or how we're going to do it. Just take action, take action. 17 minutes in. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so just take action. So, um, yeah i think that's that's all i need to say about this tonight um i hope you guys get something out of it i hope you guys understand this this two system here and i hope you guys um understand enough that you can take away something from it and realize that we cannot be up here we cannot be get stuck up here the answer to 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 achieving success to achieving your goals and your dreams you got to work on being down here and the success believe you have to work on being becoming the person you want to become so you can do what the person you want to become can do and we have what the person you want to become can and will have you have to be first before you can do before you can have becoming it and i use an example of you know the, the story in the bible with joshua conquering the the the, the city of um the city of Jericho, you know, God had to say, see that you have, you are a conqueror. So I use that story, as, that, that story as an example, how he had to see himself first as being the conqueror of the, of the nation of Jericho, the city of Jericho. He had to see himself first as the conqueror before he can actually go and do the conquering right and that's what we have to do we have to see ourselves as a successful person we want to become before we can then walk out that success become the successful person but it's a process it's a journey it's a um yeah it's a process it's a journey <laughs> is that i don't think there's any other two words that can, i can use the best to describe it it's a process and it's a journey it's something that you it's a journey that you're on on a continuous basis and working on yourself, working in your mind, working in your subconscious mind. We're still talking about the subconscious mind and the conscious mind, right? We're still talking about the two mindset because this is this is a system that the two mindset works on also. So, so yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys get something out of it. Um, so I'm gonna cut it off here. This 90 minutes in now. Just gonna cut it off here and just give a shout out to people. Uh, Nancy, thank you for joining me. Ralph, thank you for joining me. John Dole, thank you for joining me. Kevin, thank you for joining me. And Christine, thank you for 
Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys taking the time out to have been for joining me on this live. I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope you guys remember about the system and, and uh, you're working just like me, working on yourself to become to on the, to be to be in this success system, to be to be do and have. I'm in the process of doing it. I'm sure you guys are also. Thank you once again. Hold on one minute. <laughs> I forgot to have my challenge with me ready to go. <laughs> okay, so this is my challenge. Um, I'll do at the end of each if each live. Let others lead small lives, but not you. Let others argue over small things, but not you. Let others cry over small hurts, but not you. Let others leave their future in the hands of someone, in someone else's hands, but not you. Let others settle where they are, but not you. Let others live their life of mediocrity, but not you. Let others stay in their comfort zones, but not you. Let others live their lives in fear of the unknown, but not you. Let others let others let fear of failure and fear of success holds them back, but not you. Let others be content to add to the wealth of the graveyard, but not you. Let you be the one to rise up. You be the one to take a stand. You be the one to make changes in your lives. You be the one to go after your goals and your dreams. You be the one. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Again, I'm reminding people in my local area, in the Vancouver, greater Vancouver area, uh, if you have time is, uh, on the March 14th, that's next week, Wednesday, March 14th at from 1 to 3 p.m., Please come and join me at the Surrey Central Library, where we have the first ever um, live um, Excel Your Life, Excel Your Life Live two hour seminar. So please come and join me. And I really, greatly appreciate you guys coming out and support. I need your support. I need to see your smiling faces there. I need to feel your love and your support. So please come if you have the time. And if you live in this low, the lower mainland, Please come out and like. I love to see you there. Um, I greatly appreciate it. So until tomorrow, this is Robert saying good night. God bless you. I love you and peace.